So, Kapinas, medyo <laughs> madigim sa lugar. May ilaw naman, pero kung titignan mo kasi yung gandong itsura dati, nakakatakot. Kit na ako, takot. <laughs> What's up, Pinas? This is the 19th century underground water reservoir of El Deposito which supplied potable water to Maynila. This 150-meter labyrinth of tunnels found underneath the grounds of Pinaglabanan Memorial Shrine have been cleared of mud and garbage in preparation of its reopening as a travel destination. At yun nga Kapinas, historical records show that the 137-year-old Roman aqueduct El Deposito were established in 1882 as a part of the Carriedo Waterworks that supplied water to the 19th century Manila during the Spanish colonial period of the Philippines. The water reservoir tunnel system consists of a center canal that connected to 25 small canals, measuring 5 meters high and 3 meters wide. El Deposito had a capacity of 50,000 cubic meters of water enough to supply to 300,000 people. Carriedo Waterworks was named after the Francisco Carriedo Peredo, a Spanish official who provided funds to the city of Manila in 733 to create the volcanic stuff infrastructure that Spanish engineer Gennaro Palacios and designed the build from 1878 to 1882. And years passed by, the American used the El Deposito as an armory. And the Japanese turned the reservoir into a hospital for tuberculosis patient and a firing range. So, Marikina River. So, ito yung pipe. Pagpuntang San Juan. Ciudad de San Juan. Then, they distribute sa buong Manila. So, this is Maynila. And now, to our present time, the restoration project that led by the National Historic Commission of the Philippines and Department of Tourism, together with the San Juan City Government, this began in 2016 when the University of the Philippines Archaeological Study Program made an assessment and evacuation of the underground tunnels. So Kapinas, ano pang hinihintay mo? Tara na, punta na dito sa Ed Deposito, dito lang yan sa Pinaglupanan Shrine, dito sa San Juan City.